We are back with another video. I am Gold Raven, and this one is on how to get the rebuild meter to jump up to 100% as fast as possible. First of all, I would like to thank the people who gave me the information I needed to do this video via Twitter. They sent me a tweet with the information on how to get this thing really fast. I'm going to be showing you all that. So first of all, you have to head up and talk to Bridget in Battleon. If you didn't see my last video, which basically covers all of the new updates and things and the settings and all the rest of it, you can go watch that first. This video is exclusively just about the meter and these quests and how to beat them fast. Now, first of all, this meter goes up based on the amount of times that these quests are turned in. So the more quests you turn in, the quicker this meter goes up. So just keep turning in those quests and that meter will be going up. Grab these quests. And of course you can use everything you get from the quest to purchase these items here, as you would have seen in my last video, not going into details on those, but when you have grabbed those quests, you want to go to a location. Now this is a solo location. Now there's two ways of getting there. The first and the fastest is by typing in join Doomwood Forest book three. And this is where you want to go. If you do not want to use the quick way that I just showed you, then you can travel to Doomwood Forest. You just head over this direction and you're going to find the book right here. Now this is the Doomwood Challenge 3 and yes, this is solo. You want to make sure that you are running Warrior. Secondly, you're going to want to have the Seismic Slam as your cross skill. And then you just want to group up all of the guys here into one big happy group and then spin then slam. This is going to finish it off and then just grab all of the material. This is going to be extremely fast. I just grab this stuff too because I just end up deleting them out of my inventory, but just grab all of these. Just from one little run, that five seconds was 40 material. So then you can bounce out of this place real fast and simply click on the book and go back in. Repeat the method, but for the second time, I actually just run through the side over here because you don't need all of them to complete the quest. Spin, slam, and grab the rest of the loot that you need. Now you're not gonna be needing to loot all of the people here, just the ones you need for the quest. One of them is already turned in, so now I just need the solids. And there we go. Quests are done just that fast. Then you jump back to Battleon and turn in the quests. It literally takes a minute, maybe two minutes to do that. And I also wanted to point out if you are inside of the challenge, you can actually just stick around in there after killing them because they do respawn but it is quicker to just leave and then go back in. Also, you can only stack your items to 200. So once you have the maximum amount, make sure to buy all of the stuff you possibly can. If you have absolutely everything and you can't get anything else because you already have 200 in your inventory, then just delete it and keep doing the quests. The reason why I say this is you can't put it in your bank. And the more people we have doing these quests and turn it in, the quicker we're going to get to 100%. So even if you've done all of the stuff and you have all of your items, just keep farming the quests anyways because it's ultimately helping the entire community. Now, if everybody who's farming this event follows this guide, we will be at 100% in no time. Plus, the bonus is you're getting a lot of materials fast, which you can then use for all of these. Now, if you saw my last video, you also know none of these things are perma rare or seasonal rare. These will be available in the new Battleon, but come on, you get a new pet, 
you got to go for this thing. 200, you can get that easy. So there we go. I hope this video helps you guys out there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.